know how to handle him and i think that's initially why she left now i don't know who filed for divorce i think it might have been her i do see that she is the one that left hi everyone welcome back to no like tarot i use tarot to pull different energies and make predictions about hot topics this is not about negative gossip so if you're interested in that it's not the channel for you this is what we can learn from situations so I was requested to do this video and if you're interested in requesting a video please write in the description box the video you'd like to see and that you're a subscriber please make sure you're subscribed to watch it and yeah let's get into this reading so this is about Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck let me just read up the charts really quickly Jennifer Garner, her sun is in Aries, her moon is in Gemini, and her rising is in Cancer. Ben Affleck, his sun is in Leo, moon is in Scorpio, and rising is in Cancer. How interesting is that? Both of them have the rising in Cancer. So very family, like to be seen as being family oriented. So with the past, I get Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. So I have a strong feeling that when they got together, there was a sense of like oh my gosh this is what i've you you i've wanted and the irony is that he ended up dating jennifer garner after he dated jennifer lopez lopez and i feel like he found somebody he could make a home with he wanted more the idea of her than who she was and that's a very typical leo trait very very leo to do that like chase especially knight of swords chasing you can see that chasing things and people um because they have the fire energy the fixed sign of fire and fire is about chasing so present being two of wands and the, the sun and nine of pentacles so i strongly strongly feel like there's issues about money not that they're having financial issues but they fight about money you know i saw a clip um on youtube they were showing jennifer garner and ben affleck like yelling he was yelling at her in the street and she was like trying to calm down and i find it interesting that she's in areas because she doesn't remind me of a lot of areas that i know and that i've seen in the public she's very even even killed i find her to be such a sweetheart i've never met her but she just seems very sweet and she has those pretty dimples you know she's such a sweetheart um from what i can see but i strongly feel like he's very dominant he has a very dominant energy and he kind of likes to dictate to her what she should know it's funny i thought she was a virgo for some reason she gives me very virgo energy so with the future being Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Two of Wands. So, the future. <sighs> She's going to try to get away from him. I think he is, like, covert, abusive towards her. She's going to try to get away from him. She doesn't know how to handle him. And I think that's initially why she left. Now, I don't know who filed for divorce. I think it might have been her. I do see that she is the one that left the situation. Then he comes out and he says, oh... I felt so depressed I had to drink I mean who says that about the mother of the ch children it's just not a good look so the bottom of the deck being nine of wands she's just she's sacrificed a part of herself to make others happy and she's seeing that for herself I think she's even in therapy and stuff like that she's really working on herself and I applaud her a lot I can I can see it. it's very very clear so with queen of swords I think he should do <laughs> the queen of swords king of pentacles eight of one and j-lo both of them like i remember uh j-lo was on wendy williams a long time ago i love wendy williams and she was like i've never been to therapy and i thought to myself oh my gosh <laughs> not from a place of judgment just from a place of like i really think she needs it i think everybody needs it but i do think she would really benefit as would he as we all would from therapy so queen of swords king of pentacles and eight of wands i think she's trying to make like a deal happen to move i think she might move to east coast 
Um, I saw that where they were, it looked like Brentwood. It looked like that neighborhood of Brentwood, but I don't know where the house is, but it was clearly in the West Coast, it was clearly in LA. Um, because that neighborhood looked very familiar to me. I used to live there. So, Knight of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. I, once she makes this move, I think she's going to get a role where she has to move. She's going to have very minimal contact with him. Very, very minimal contact. It's going to be like, just for the kids. And the kids are almost old enough that they don't really need to talk. Um, but she's kept quiet about a lot of nasty things he's done to her. And I just don't see him being a good person. Sorry, all the Ben Affleck fans. I'm not crazy about him. <clears throat> so a page of wands, two of pentacles, and page of pentacles. Yeah, so she's figuring out a way where she won't have to be financially tied to him um with the death because she did slow down a lot on working and stuff and i think he was in fact i get the energy that he would yell at her say things to her you know very abusive energy and with the death and the temperance once she clears her energy of him she'll be able to feel at peace again so i pulled a card for healing and it says, allowing radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment to what's needed so that what's needed can come next. And I do definitely think a part of her is like, okay, we're still a family, rising in cancer, you know, we're still a family, we're still a family. So I can't say anything. And I applaud her for that because I would never say anything about the father of my children. But another part of her wants to say how she was affected by him so she's like torn she's completely torn and her moon being a gemini it makes so much sense well is it a gemini let's see yes her moon being a gemini so she has torn emotions she has like two-sided emotions like i should do this but i should do that i should do this but i should do that like how she feels um kind of torments her so i totally I wish her the best of luck. I wish both of them the best of luck and hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, comment, let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Like the video. Take care.